So what we've got here is our latest um, release in technology, it's called the ECO2, um, building on the success that we had with the ECO uh, advanced liquid cooling system. The, the big news for us here is actually the base um, that we've invented and developed um, is in fact on the, the exciting part of it's on the other side obviously where the water is going through it. Um, it's actually uh, what we call a center feed or a split flow design. It allows us to actually put the cool water straight down onto the center of the CPU and with an increased fin pitch it allows us to have uh, a tremendous performance bump yeah. and the, the end result is you know the, the efficiency on on the pump and cold plate on the low profile piece here um, it lends itself to even better acoustics you know so in in terms of the comparative performance um, we're looking at uh, you know on a moderately overclocked CPU uh, between four and five degrees improvement um, on the eco which was already a great product cool um, so with uh, this product, um, we're actually really excited about bringing it into the system integrator um, uh, channel. For retail, um, the product will actually be uh, um, carried by Corsair. Cool. Um, so we developed uh, with Corsair the H60, which I think you may have seen some press on mm -hmm. um, recently. So we're very excited about our relationship with Corsair and their ability to take that into the retail space. Um, so our focus, um, as you'll see with most of our materials now, is shifting over into the system integrator so that it'll give us an ability to do customized systems with different radiator variations, like we have a, uh, a 140 uh, radiator a 240 radiator, um, and we also have 92s and 80s for small form factor, um, and we're, we're pretty excited about um, obviously the performance and the development, um, and uh, um, we're actually ahead of our production schedule, which is great, so we're actually in a position to start shipping in January. Awesome. And what's the price point on that one, do you know? Um, price point for this, I believe that uh, for retail, it will end up going out at seventy nine ninety nine as the uh, American MSRP cool. um, for the H60. Awesome. Um, and we'll have, uh, obviously, uh, a lot of programs built specifically for SIs, giving them advantages if they're not only doing CPU cooling, but also GPU cooling with our... Um, very successful platform on the Omni uh, Universal GPU cooling solution. So the the performance um, is actually illustrated here for for the CPU. Now, I mean, aside from all the lines, what was actually represented here is actually the thermal resistance, which is a, a metric for performance um, in degrees C per watt. Um, so what that really translates to is if I have a 200 watt CPU and I'm cooling it in a room of 23 degrees ambient, then the, the factor uh, here versus the RPM here of the fan gives us the, the actual temperature rise from ambient to the actual CPU. Um, so now we're, we're extremely excited as we see here the Eco 120, um, which again, as I mentioned, was a, a fantastic performing, very successful product and we still have and carry that. Um, we moved down with the, the new Eco 2 um, 120 here, down here. Awesome. So the uh, the light blue line was actually the push pull configuration. So two fans on the Eco is now equaled with one fan on the Eco Two. Now, if you actually go do a push pull on the Eco Two, then we're actually uh, really in a in a in a nice performance range here. Um, with the red line, which has never been achieved um, with any CPU cooler, air or liquid, um, as a self-contained solution. So we're really excited about that and seeing the uh, kind of the reviewer response to that. Um, we get into the more extreme stuff with the 140 rad um, in the green line here. Then we get down like at point zero, anything under point one degrees C per watt has been kind of a barrier, like no one in the in the market's ever had a, a delivery solution that would get there. Now we actually have, we're well below uh, the point one with um, fan speeds, you know, anywhere beyond 1400, which is almost undetectable in a traditional desktop.